Hi friends, welcome back to another build challenge in The Sims 4. My name is Sid and we have done so many of these every room is a different blank videos at this point, but I love them, you guys love them. Let's do every room is a different mood. So we're gonna use the wheel today. On this wheel, I have put every emotion possible in The Sims 4. Some of them I kind of forgot about, like possessed from The Sims 4 Strangerville. Totally forgot about that. Scared is a newish one. Bored, like what are we gonna do if we get bored? We're gonna spin this wheel first for the experience exterior and whatever we land on we're gonna have to build it according to that mood and then for every room within that build we're gonna be spinning again and whichever one we land on will determine how we're gonna decorate each room so let's go ahead and spin the wheel let's see what we're gonna get for the exterior we get energized honestly I think we got kind of lucky getting energized I'm thinking a modern kind of like gym looking inspired build and the thing with this challenge is I don't only want it to look like an energized sort of decorated moodlet room. I want it to also spark the emotion for the sims who enter it. So we're going to be putting items on here that are going to like match the energized moodlet. We're going to definitely have a gym of some kind out here. Basically your sims get energized obviously while working out. They can also get it from chugging coffee and some other things. So maybe we'll include some like a coffee maker out here. By the way, if you can hear doggy snores, I apologize. Naimi isn't feeling too good. She's sitting on my lap. So I'm I don't want to move her. I know every time I apologize for it, you guys are like, just let her do it. Just let her snore. So I'm just letting you know, you might hear a couple snores here and there. The baby needs her mommy. I'm building out some platforms here. I want to put this up on a platform. I'm thinking also about using some platforms for my roofing over here. I'm going to put it up top as well. We can do a platform roof there and I'm going to go in with a half wall. Instead of doing a fence over here, I'm going to section this off. I think this is going to be like our gym balcony here. Like I can put some workout equipment up there. I'm definitely going to be putting a pool in the back. I'm going to build out an area here for that to be my chimney. And then I think for this like awkward part, I'm going to also bring it up with a half wall, just adding some extra details. And actually, I kind of like that as my shell, sort of giving gym, but gym homey vibes. We're definitely going to use fitness stuff for my wallpaper. So I'm going to get on my filter. We can do a white for these bump outs here. I'm also kind of thinking like a blue could be kind of nice. Like I love this navy blue from fitness stuff. It's a pretty Pretty good wallpaper. And then for the side, I'm thinking maybe eco lifestyle, like wood, like maybe something like that on the side could be kind of nice. This here is definitely going to be a balcony. So I'll put those there. And I think I want to make maybe just a small overhang right here. I do this all the time lately. I need to stop. I'm obsessed with making my own like overhangs like that. We're going to add some trim around that, changing the color of our half wall trim. I never know what to do with like the flat roof like that. I'm just going to use this like concrete here. Maybe with that flooring there for our balconies. We're gonna get some wood on there and for my windows, maybe we could go in with like these ones even. And it would actually be kind of cool if you could see through this. Like if we put two windows in the back here, then if we put a pool in the back, you're gonna see it from the front. And I kind of think that could look kind of nice. Do I, what kind of fence should we use for the balcony? I'm thinking maybe like a metal one. I'm not really going for industrial, so I don't really want that vibe. I feel like we're due for like a nice metal modern fence that doesn't look like from get to work. <laughs> I'm really tempted to use the fitness stuff door, but I can't bring myself to do it. I don't know about it. It's like a very abstract modern and I'm not really sure about that for this build. Let's do spotty door there. We can get some base game, regular glass doors like these for the top. And the way that my layout is kind of going here, I'm wondering if I could get my stairs inside there and then use these windows to kind of showcase it. So it would be sort of like a feature for the exterior too. We're gonna put our blue chimney from Eco Lifestyle on here. And I think I'm gonna do the same thing around the back. I'm just gonna bring these windows around this side and I'm gonna have to build up a platform deck here too. I wanna make sure we're gonna leave enough room for the pool. The pool is kind of gonna be like a main feature of this backyard. Your Sims are gonna be swimming for days. They're gonna be so freaking pumped. I don't have a whole lot of space back here for my pool though. So I'm gonna have to like go like that. Maybe we can pull this back slightly. If this is gonna be the main feature, I can't keep it that small. I'm gonna put some tile around it. It. The only thing that sucks here is my fence won't be able to reach all the way to the back. The Sims 4, uh, they, they need to fix this because you can't go like, it says that this is like placing outside the boundary of the lot. Like this tile here doesn't count for anything. You can't build anything on there, which I find kind of weird. What we can do though 
is place hedges. So this is just gonna have to be what we're gonna do for our fence back here. Maybe we can do something cool with these trees too. Like we'll make a barrier and then whatever fence we do add, we're just gonna have to connect it back there. Okay, so right now this is what it looks like with just windows and doors. We still have to add all the landscaping, all the details. So let's get started there. I just managed to put Naomi to bed. She's with my boyfriend and now this one wants to come up here. It's like the one doesn't feel good and then the other one needs more attention. <laughs> You're not the one who's sick. You're not the one who's sick. For my landscaping, I'm gonna keep it fairly clean. I don't think we're gonna go too crazy with it. Maybe a little bit out here, I might build like a rock garden and separate this part from the rest of the yard. Then maybe it'll blend together with the fence and like the way that we've had to go around this like fence issue. I'm adding these little pot lights here. I'm just gonna shrink them and put them on each of my steps. I feel like this is gonna give it like a modern look. I could also put them in the corners of my patios. Up here on the balcony is where I wanna have our energetic gym equipment. So I'm gonna go in and grab maybe a punching bag we can put in the corner here. Let's do a treadmill as well. I'm gonna have it facing the back. I'm gonna make sure this isn't popping up too high above my half wall because I don't wanna see it really from the front that much. I have this plant here pushed into the wall from Seasons and I'm gonna put, I think, a counter in front of that. We're gonna cover up this bottom part and I'm gonna adjust so that my plants are kind of just gonna be peeking over the top like that. And then we can put a coffee maker, which we know is gonna make our Sims energized. And I think on top of that, I'm going to put maybe a soccer ball. I know you can get it from that as well. Let's do fitness stuff and table over on this side. I want to put towels on here, maybe some extra plants. Oh, it would be cute if we had some sneakers underneath the table. Like just put them there. Like you'd put them on just if you came out here. There's our towels from spot A. And I do have a little extra room. I think what I'm going to do is put a yoga mat in the corner here, just because I have the space. We're going to pull it together with a couple plants over in this corner. And this is going to be our energized belt. Balcony. Your sims can get up here and feel pumped up. And this is what our house is looking like from the front. I did end up changing some things. I got rid of that overhang that I put in the beginning. I wasn't feeling it. I also changed my fence here to this glass one from Spot A instead. And we have so many plants out here. I'm just kind of realizing I went very overboard. I've got the Sims Newcrest like build series that we've got going in my head apparently. And this is the backyard. I added some loungers back here. We've got our pool, which is gonna make your sims feel energized. I do have room for probably a barbecue. So maybe I'll put that over here. So barbecue there. And you see how I have that weird separation there with my chimney. Maybe I can separate that part with a column. I probably don't have to. I just feel like it looks a little weird with those two different paints exposed there. That's a little bit better. We've got our barbecue bag here now and my garbage cans are hiding in the back there. So ooh, that is blinding. We're going to go inside. I need to make sure actually that we've got a floor plan happening here. Sometimes I get too taken away from the exterior and the inside is just a hot mess when we go in here. While I'm doing this, I'm just going to make my floor plan here. I got to tell you guys, I freaking, so I live in an apartment. I walk my dogs every single day for them to go to the bathroom. All I want is a yard for them. And for our patio, we have like a porch patio in the back, but no grass. So I went and bought them this fake grass and I need to show you the pictures and they were so happy about it. <laughs> I posted them on my Twitter and I had to share. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh, see, and that's what I was hoping earlier with that window placement. You can see my stairs on the inside. That is gonna look really cool. This house is gonna have an under stairs room. I put this wall dividing the stairs like right there and it looks a little weird from the top because it just looks like one wall. But when your Sims are inside, this is what they're gonna see from like their view. <laughs> and then if we have this archway over here, the only way you're gonna be able to get in there is by going through the archway. And I thought about doing a secret door I literally had like the library one, like the secret bookshelf, but I was like, you can clearly see under there. I mean, unless we replace them like this and then no one would know about the secret door under there. That seems a little more fun. Let's do that. So bookshelf door, hidden secret stairway. I'm gonna have to cover up those windows too. And then upstairs, we're gonna have another bathroom and two bedrooms. I actually managed to fit a lot more in here than I expected. All right, so let's go back to the wheel. Let's do the living room first. Let's spin for the living room and see what we get. We get happy, that's cute. So we're gonna do a happy living room. When you walk in, your Sims are gonna be happy. So automatically I'm tempted to do a yellow accent wall, which by the way, I studied like colors and psychology in school once for some reason. And apparently yellow makes people sad. So in theory, this is not gonna help anyone, but I like it. I think it looks happy, right? We've got our black windows in here. So we're gonna have to incorporate that somehow. And I know that a nicely decorated room can give your Sims a happy mood as well. So we gotta make sure whoever 
moves in here, likes the decor that we are putting up. <laughs> it's always so awkward when you make a build, you spent so long on it and your freaking Sims walk in and they like don't like the decor for some reason. Like before likes and dislikes, I feel like it was just a completely random preference. And I'm not gonna lie, it kind of stung when my Sims didn't like what I did for them. If I search up happy with a debug on, apparently there's happy fizzy juice, which comes with a Sims 4 Eco lifestyle. I'm gonna put this over on the end table. Get yourself some happy fizzy juice. I got mine right here. I mean, it's not fizzy, but you get it. And we're just gonna load up this table with happy juice. I wanna come over. I just downloaded some really cute art from Holy Shimo Wow. I'm gonna be using this in my house. I was looking for something yellow and bright. I feel like I need to brighten it up in here a little bit. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts. My brain is like, huh? <laughs> What's that? I think sometimes dancing can make your Sims happy too. So I'm gonna put a speaker right here. I mean, it's getting a little bit happier. I think what's getting me is the black windows, like the darkness that's kind of in here with the, the happy build and my couch that I chose. But I really like the black and yellow combination. I'm also trying to bring in a touch of green too with all the plants that we're putting in here because the moodlet in The Sims when your Sims are happy is green. So bringing that in with the plants, you've got the green, yellow, and black color scheme happening. I added this bookshelf in the corner and I want to add like happy looking statues. Kind of creepy. I've got that bunny right there. I have this cute happy looking rabbit. I mean, that guy looks pretty stoked. All right, so we've got our happy room here. This is what it's looking like. Tons of yellow, a little bit of green. We've got our happy juice over here. Speakers so your sims can dance. I added shelving units over to this side where I've got my bookshelf in the corner and all the happy looking things like the statues is a little bit creepy, but hey, it's made to spark joy and happiness in your sims. So hopefully we can do that here. Let's do the little room next. I'm really dying to know what mood we're gonna be doing in here. Let's go spin the wheel again. So spinning the wheel, this is for our tiny little under the stairs room. We get tense. So I know Sims can get really tense if they work too much and if their mood let drop. So I think what I wanna do is add in like maybe the research computer. I'm gonna make this a little study area, a tiny one. We're gonna put a tiny desk from Tiny Living in here. I wanna put a computer, but I wanna make sure they're not playing any games on it. So like if we use the research machine, maybe they're researchers or debaters and that's what they do for work or something. So we could use this. It even says, <laughs> these even come with a warning. It says over contributing to ERAM may result in headaches minor bouts of dizziness and death. So pretty tense and <laughs> times are tough. We're gonna put that in here. That looks so weird. I wanna put an uncomfortable chair. Like, oh, I feel bad that we're getting tense for this. I was hoping this would be happy. Here, we can put one of the fabricated chairs from Eco Lifestyle. I think I'm gonna put black curtains in here so it just feels like you're stuck in this like dark room. You can't leave until the work is finished. This looks awful. Oh no, this doesn't look healthy. Maybe our Sim is like working too much. Also maybe is obsessed with like working out too, like does not leave the house. Is this sim gonna be okay? <laughs> Maybe under there I should put a little bed, but I can't, they're supposed to be tent. Here, I'll give them a chair. I don't even know if they can get in there because of that, but there you go. We're gonna pull this together with a plant in the corner and I'm just gonna put up some stuff on the wall. Maybe a cork board in front of this so that if we have anything to put up there, we can do that. And let's pull it together with the small rug. This is totally like a little Harry Potter room. Comes with the tenseness and everything. <laughs> All right, there's our tents room. I'm getting tense just looking at it is so sad researching room under the stairs there you go let's move in here to the kitchen and dining uh, let's go back and spin the wheel oh my gosh i'm we're kind of running out of good ones oh no we're good we have inspired playful those would be good flirty okay let's do this all right spinning the wheel for the kitchen what are we gonna get confident okay we can do confident kitchen so the confident moodlet is blue and i'm doing a little research it says it could be achieved by cooking a good meal so we're gonna have to set them up with some good appliances in here. Practicing speech in front of a mirror, sending a text message, achieving an academic performance, winning a fight, finishing a good book. Things like that are going to cause confidence in our sim. So let's bring in the blue. Maybe a blue accent wall could look good in here. Either good or bad. I think bad unless we maybe went with like a darker one like that. That's the vibe. We need to set our sims up here for success. I'm going to get the most expensive fridge even though I hate using this one. We're going to make this really fancy kitchen so even if they're not that skilled at cooking. Hopefully these appliances will at least get them a little bit more ahead than they would have. The goal basically is that our Sim is going to cook a good meal in here and to be confident all the time. Maybe this Sim is a food critic and they spend their time being tense <laughs> under the stairs writing food reviews. And maybe they're really good at cooking, which is how they got into their position. Oh, you know what we could do is put a mirror in the back. I like to do this pretty often. As a backsplash behind my counter, sometimes I like to put a mirror in the back. And if your Sims can get confident by practicing their speech 
maybe we can do that while cooking. The Sim is a multitasker, if anything. Oh my goodness. For clutter, let's put a knife set. We're gonna make it look nice and professional. On the side, I'm gonna put this in here. You can get that from getting to level six at the culinary career. So we'll just put that stuff along the side here. Maybe I can put my trash can in there too. I think I'm gonna need like a small-ish dining table in here. Like maybe that one could work. Or I could try and squeeze it over to the side here. So I fit my dining table over in this corner and I think what I'm gonna do is just switch this over to the other side. I think it would look better if my fridge was over here. Basically, I'm just like bringing everything over to the other side. I actually really like that kitchen. I don't know, it's pretty simple I feel, but the appliances, everything in here, knowing that our sim is gonna feel confident after cooking a grand meal in here, I like it. We have one more room downstairs before we go up. We have the bathroom here. So let's go back to the wheel, see what we're gonna get for our first bathroom. Imagine we got like possessed. <laughs> oh my God, I'm scared. <gasps> Flirty in the bathroom. Ooh, we need a shower. <laughs> Didn't expect that, honestly. Didn't see that one coming. I thought with my luck, we were gonna get like sad. <laughs> we're like crying in the shower. Okay, so four in here, Sims can woohoo in the shower. So I'm definitely gonna put one of those. We're gonna really try and play into it, I think. And I'm trying to use fitness stuff just to bring this whole house together. We'll do a toilet over there. I wanna put an end table or a counter or something here. Maybe the snowy escape one in black. And I can fill this up with like flirty items. Like we can get the VIP bucket. You can enable the aura and that'll give off some flirty vibes for your Sims. We've got the flirty juice. I actually did a whole build on this channel for like a new couple and it included a whole bunch of flirty items. So if you guys wanna see a bunch of items like that, an entire house made to make your Sims flirty, I'll link that down below. We have those hearts there from Outdoor Retreat, which I'm not honestly a huge fan of, but I feel like I need to put them for this build. I'm actually gonna delete my lighting up here and we're gonna replace it with a whole bunch of candles. The good thing about this sink is that I can put lanterns under there. So we've got more candles underneath. There's a drink in The Sims 4 called Cupid Juice. Apparently that makes your Sims flirty. When I put it down, there's nothing in it, obviously. That's a flirty cupcake. Oh my God. <laughs> Cupid cupcake, take a bite out of love. Do it. Yummy. All right, I changed it to pink in here because I feel like you have to. The mood light is pink. This is what our bathroom is looking like. Our flirty little bathroom. It doesn't really match the rest of this build. It's interesting to see how this sim has been evolving. So upstairs we go. Let's see what we're gonna get for bedroom number one. So spinning the wheel for the first bedroom. Let's see what we get. We get bored. We get bored. Okay, so a bored sim won't feel like doing anything that isn't fun. Sometimes this can happen during a boring conversation with other sims. It can randomly happen apparently for children and teens when they come home from school. So basically we just can't have anything fun in here. <laughs> this is so sad. Okay, I'm gonna put it. Let's do the boring bedroom over here, I guess. Maybe this can be a teen room since they like come home from school and they feel like bored, I guess. The moodla is gray. So I feel like I should do an all gray room in here. Oh, this is gonna be so sad. If we do a kid's room and this kid is just bored. Oh, okay. Maybe this kid doesn't visit that often. Like maybe this is a second home or they live with like a different parent. Literally trying to think of any excuse for why this sim would just be bored in here. Or it could be a guest room. I feel like that would maybe fit it a little better. If I'm not putting anything exciting in here, it's gonna be very staged looking. I think that would make a lot more sense why this would be so boring in here. Just gonna put some lights in here, a mirror, a dresser, boring picture from fitness stuff. I mean, at least the nice thing about this bedroom is that you can go out onto the front patio. So at least there's something there. I'm not gonna feel too sorry for this sim. And there we go. This is gonna be our bedroom, our guest bedroom. Um, Very boring, absolutely nothing going on in here other than some like plants, a couple end tables, a dresser, nothing fun is happening in here at all. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. I wanna get a fun one. I wanna do a fun bedroom. All right, spinning for the second last time. Let's see what we get. We get angry. We're gonna be mad in our bedroom. This room is not gonna match at all. Okay, so it's gonna be red. We're gonna have our bed in here. To make it cute, I'm gonna bring in some of these lights. When I look up angry, the angry gnome comes up. So I feel like I have to use them, but it doesn't fit my house at all. I think what I'm gonna do is put some extra pillows up here. I just raised up these counters from Dine Out and put them behind my bed, kind of like a headboard. But I think it would be a good idea to put some pillows in here. The idea being that if your sim was angry, they could come in here and like punch the pillows. Actually, it makes sense because we have a punching bag out here too. So if they are angry, that can help. And also I think the pillows look kind of cute. <laughs> 
conversely. Downstairs, we put all of like the happy things. Upstairs, we're gonna put all the angry guys. Apparently this bean is angry. Angry bean is gonna go there. I have like the weirdest shape back here. So I am gonna make a closet. We're gonna put some red clothes hanging in the back here. Let's do stand up mirror. I feel like based on what we know about this sim, this is more like the guest room. Maybe they prefer the boring room. We can put this up. Imagine that this would not make sense at all. If you went to stay at this person's house and they're like, yeah, here's my guest room. And it looks like this. This is reminding me a little bit of one of those weird like Zillow houses that we built recently on my channel. Those vibes for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna try and find another angry movie poster. Like maybe we can put some of these in here. Just kind of riding on the back of like that one over there. And I mean, that one's based around fighting, which makes Sims angry. So that makes sense. All right, so not what I expected at all, but here is our angry bedroom. I actually kind of like it. I feel like it looks cool. It's different for sure. We have one more room over here, which is going to be our bathroom. And I need to do this hallway here. I'm gonna just do that one and bring it all together, I think. So spinning one more time for the final room in the house, we get inspired. What a nice way to end this. This is actually good because I'm pretty sure Sims can get out of the shower after taking a thoughtful shower. Like one of the interactions that you click on the shower for and they can get out feeling inspired. So that actually might work. Let's get an even better shower for upstairs. If we're gonna be thoughtful, we gotta make sure that this one's gonna do the job. I kinda wanna try and fit in like an easel in here. That would be so weird. Apparently you can also get inspired by playing a musical instrument. So what if I put that in here? I have seen weirder things happen in Sims 4 bathroom. They kinda just take it and go anyway. So let's put the guitar in here. We're gonna pull this together with some plants. We'll put a big painting up. Maybe they can get some inspiration there. That actually turned out kind of cute. I like it. We've got the blue for the inspired mood that we've got our expensive shower. Get all your thoughts done in there and our freaking guitar <laughs> for my hallway. I'm just going to put some random decor in here because honestly, I don't know what's up with this sim. Normally we can kind of come up with like a, a story or, or an idea, but this is just all over the place. Maybe an erratic sim. I think they change behaviors a little bit more often than other sims. So maybe that is a trait for this sim here. So there we go. This has been every room is a different mood in the sims 4. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's definitely interesting. Definitely. It will be on the gallery under City Macarada if you guys want to download it. I will be returning to the new Crest build series on Friday. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.